Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to unbox this Iron Man Mark 43 from ZD Toy. So like I said, we're going to unbox this figure and this is actually the latest edition of the Iron Man uh, action figure for the Infinity Sagas from the ZD Toys. Uh, so this one came out right after that uh, war mission over there, yeah. He's chilling there, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. So without further ado, let's check out what they have printed on this beautiful piece of box over here, okay? Um, so on the front, we can see the beautiful uh, picture of the Iron Man suit there. I'm with the Infinity Saga logo here and it also say Marvel here. So on down here, we can see there's a, a Disney holographic sticker. Uh, as I said before, ZD Toys is actually a company licensed by Disney to produce this kind of stuff, okay? And it's cheap. So on the side, we can see a beautiful picture of Iron Man here and also it says Marvel Studio Avengers Age of Ultron, the movies, and here, we have the Zong Dong Toy sticker, okay? ZD Toys is stand for Zong Dong Toy. On the back, uh, we can see all of this beautiful picture here and a few action poses. And also, here is the description in Chinese. I don't read Chinese. Again, if you can read it, go ahead and read it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we have uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron logo and also we have uh, Mark 43 here indicating that this box, inside of this box, we have Iron Man Mark 43 action figure. So nothing on the top and nothing on the bottom. So Mark 43 is actually the upgraded version of Mark 42 and I already have Mark 42 right here and if you can see, the design of the box is um, a bit different. Um, you can see, first of all, the way that we need to open the box is for the earlier model. We need to open it from here and there's a card in there. And behind this card, there's an, an instruction to um, assemble the stand. And also then, here is the figure. Oops. So for the Mark 43, you need to open it like this from the side and there's no card that um, blocking the uh, figures and we can just take it out like this and ta-da, the box is empty now. So this is both of the figure and as far as I remember, uh, Mark 43 and Mark 42 shared exact same design so i'm not sure either both of these are using the same cast or not but for this figure right here mark 42 it have a few issues that are not really pleasing yeah compared to other uh, action figures uh, iron man figures from zd toys so let's see if they fix it or not for this figure because i expect this both figures share the same cast okay so before we go straight to the figure, let's see the accessory first, okay? So, typical ZD Toys Iron Man figures, it will come with three set of hand, all open hand, but we have uh, two hand that almost similar, I think, yeah, up here. These two is actually almost the same, um, same action with the hand except for this one uh, it have hole if you can see there's a hole there to attach this repulsor effect yes and for this one we have uh, two pair of repulsor effect two for the feet two for the hand and of course we have this big black um uh, stand right here that says marvel studios avengers age of ultron and mark 43 so right now, let's take this guy out. From here, yeah, it's look nice from here. The colors look good, but uh, yeah, we need to see it much closer. So let's take this guy out. 
Come on, come out, come out. Oh, he can stand right away. That's that's a that's a plus there. So in terms of the um, uh, the, the details, the lines, I think it's quite nice. Yes, uh, but we need to take a look a little bit closer. And yeah, for the paint job, I think it's it's not really good. Um, yeah, look at that. The, the detail is there, but it's like the paint are uh, covering all the sweet spot of the details underneath it. So I think the details on Mark 42 is much better than Mark 43. Yeah. In terms of the paint job that, you know, the, the, the details area. Um, yeah, but I can see right away that this, both of these um, figures share the same cast. So I expect whatever faulty that we have on this guy over here, this guy will have it too. Okay. Um, for Mark 42, actually they have this panel line, but the panel line is not that accurate actually. You can see, yeah, it's slightly, they slightly miss the place that the panel line is supposed to be in. And they get rid of the panel line here, but the paint job is still, oh my goodness, not that good. <sighs> The details is there, but uh, I think they can, um, you know, do more mercy, show more mercy to these figures actually here. Yeah. It have the details, they just need to improve on, oh my goodness, what the heck is this? Oh yeah, that, that's, that's not supposed to be there. Oh my goodness, uh, I see another, another stuff that are uh, not really pleasing to the eye here. This is the back and also the paint job. Like I said, the color is good. The red and gold is actually very, very beautiful. But in terms of the quality of the paint job, that is the one that I need to complain because it's not as uh, good as the other um, figures from the ZD Toys, especially the Iron Man uh, figures. And let's take a look at the uh, leg there. The feet, yeah. The details so that is the details now we need to take a look at the articulation so i'm going to lower down the camera a bit i'm sorry if it... yep just like that i think yeah just like that so for the head it can goes 360 yep and it can ah, okay it can look up that far and look down pretty far that's that's nice the head articulation is quite nice just as same as the previous one um, for the hand if you didn't do anything back, 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 back. with this shoulder plate you can lift only that far actually so the trick is you need to pop it out like this yeah it you can pop the shoulder out and flip this in to this area and then you can lift it up a bit further and the bicep can be twist like this and just like the previous version i don't really like this joint because it's kind of too exposed you know you can see where uh, the shoulder part and this bicep part are connecting there so it's quite ugly if you look it um, close like this but you know if you look it from afar um, yeah, it's kind of okay, I think. Just okay. Uh, so the shoulder can go 160 degrees. I'm sorry, 160 degrees. Yes, it can. And also the elbow can go more than uh, 90 degrees. And I see another issue here. See this? Oh, it's kind of loose there. Yeah. Kind of loose. Uh. Oh, that's a, that's a minus there. Yeah, another minus from these figures. Um, as for the torso, um, it can go up this far and down that far actually, side to side a bit, and uh, you can't really twist it. Um, the previous model, uh, Mark, 50, sorry, Mark 42, you can pop this out. I wonder if, yeah, you can pop this out and you can go down a bit further and back a bit further, but when you do that, it will expose this area. Look, pretty ugly but if you want to pose it like this 
it's kind of nice actually yeah yeah it's kind of nice so the leg articulation you can kick it from that far and back that far and actually you can pop this out and you can go a bit further front and back and side and also this area here you can twist it 360 degrees that's nice the knee can go more than 90 degrees and the one thing that i don't like about the knee is the way it looks when you bend it like this it's kind of ugly from the side and also you can actually see where it's connect in there see that yeah there right so you can see where the knee and the, the this area connecting so yeah and for the ankle um, not much of the articulation can move a bit front and back side to side and twist a bit yep actually twist quite a lot but no nah, it's not normal to twist this leg like this yeah and yeah that's it for the articulation so ladies and gentlemen this is iron man mark 43 by the zd toys um to be honest i'm not really pleased with the paint quality of this figure because i think um they didn't solve any issues that happened in the previous model mark 42 and also in terms of the paint job i think they do much worse on this one yeah and this is just like i said it is plain unacceptable okay but yeah it is what it is it's quite a cheap figure and it still look kind of cool if you just want to you know put it onto display like this or you want to put it in the hall of armor yeah it still um looks pretty nice the colors is there it's just the detail is not uh, i mean in the paint job details are not that good but still yeah it's still an, an, a, a nice looking figure so do i do i recommend this for you it's up to you i kind of um 50 50 on this but if you want to collect all the um, iron man figure from zd toys i think go for it it's still cheap it's affordable so yeah why not but if you look for the quality the quality is not there on this figure yeah i think that's it for today thank you for watching and see you next time peace y'all bye bye